You're about to listen to an excerpt of Secret City Geek Lab broadcast on KTSTFM.com every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. For more news, reviews, and interviews from the world of geek, visit the Geek Lab at secretcitycomedy.com slash geek lab or like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash secret city. Enjoy the show. This is KTSTFM. I'm Alan Ng, and you're listening to Secret City Geek Lab. Moving on, I'm going to play you a Disney interactive session that took place at D23 Expo. This segment highlights the Disney animated iPad app. It features the president of Toon Press, who created and developed the app. And if you're really into animation, this is a great app for you to download. It occurs perfectly to create an experience that is entirely new and never possible before. This is one of those moments. Disney Animated is a new app that just launched this past Thursday and is the result of a special collaborative effort among Disney, uh, Disney Interactive, Walt Disney Animation Studios, Disney Publishing, and the very successful premium app developer, TouchPress. Using the technology of the iPad, Disney Animated puts the magic of animation at your fingertips. The app takes you inside the creative process of animation and gets you closer than we ever dreamed possible to the actual art and tools used to create our films. With Animated, you can explore all 53 Disney Animated films from Snow White to the upcoming feature Frozen, through multiple modes and interactive experiences. You'll get access to an astonishing amount of content, including storyboards, clips, art, sound, images, and special interviews, all presented in a way to provide you a comprehensive and truly captivating new digital experience. Many of the artifacts you see in this app are currently in the Studio Archives Department in Burbank, under lock and key. And this type of interactive access is a very special thing. We also included many interactive workshops so people can try their hand at animating and learn by using the actual tools and technologies our animators currently use to produce all of your favorite movies. We hope that by granting access like this, we can inspire a whole new generation of animators to make the films that will entertain us in the future. In the short time since launch, Animated has already captured the hearts of many fans and press who are raving about the digital experience. We're also very excited to see that it's currently ranked as a top app in the App Store charts and was chosen by Apple as the Editor's Choice application in both the US and the UK. But it's obviously far more exciting to see it than to talk about it. So with that, I want to bring up Teo Gray, the founder of TouchPress and the co-author of this amazing product to show, what it, to show us what it offers. Teo? They told me my iPad had gone to sleep and I panicked. Um, so it's great to be here. Um, animation is a topic about which so much has been written and said literally thousands of books, documentaries, DVD extras, museum exhibits. It's intimidating. Uh, like, who are we to try to add to that legacy, to try to tell the story of Disney animation again in a different way? So when Disney came to us um, and wanted to do some kind of an app, we did what we always do at Touch Press, which is we tried to rethink from the ground up how ought one to tell this story in the modern world of interactive media and tablets. Um, and what should you do if that's the medium that you're communicating in? And it turns out that animation is actually a topic that works really well. It's almost crying out for this sort of way of telling stories. Because animation is about pictures that move. That's what it's about. Um, and you can do that in, in, in this form. So I want to show you the app. Uh, get up the home page here. This is the home page of Disney Animated, and you can see there's two main sections to the app. Across the top, you have um, the story of how animated movies are made. And along the bottom, you have a set of interactive experiences that let you get sort of hands-on in that world. Let's look at the, the story part first. Now, if you ask anybody at Disney, where does, where does the Disney app movie come from? They'll always tell you, it starts with a story. That's, I mean, it starts with a story. It's the same answer to everybody. And so, you know, that's we figured we bet our app better start with a story too. So, chapter about stories. Um, 
And then we go through the stages of production, visual development, character, layout and backgrounds. Eventually you get to animation. I was surprised how long it takes before you actually get to doing animation. Visual effects all the way through um, the final process of putting together a movie and releasing it. Let's, each of these is a chapter. Let's go look at the chapter on characters. So this is a page that you might see in any print book about Disney animation. And there's a problem, which is that these pictures are not moving. They should be moving. They're all scenes, clips, out of animated films. So what you can do here is you can touch it. And we should be hearing it here. There we go. This is what you should be seeing when you're reading about animation. You should be seeing the actual animation. Let's go to the next page here. You should be seeing that not just for a few of the clips, you should be seeing it for all of them. So on this page, every single thing on here is a little clip. I won't let them all play because there's some of them are long, some are short. Every single thing, I can touch it and it moves. It Anything happens to this, I'm coming! Uh, what? Well, I'm not going to be tough. We're on the next page. Now, of course, not everything to do with animation is a clip. Uh, some things are. Uh, there's dev art, things like that. This is an example of something that I find particularly fascinating. This is an animation maquette, um, used as reference by the, the animators to draw from different angles. These things are locked up in the animation research library, and you can't, you can't get to these things. Absolutely nobody can touch these things other than curators with white gloves. You just can't see them, unless you have this app, in which case you can take your finger and swipe this thing and turn it as if you were holding it in your hand. Uh, it was quite an ordeal to get them to agree to let us photograph these things this way. Um, and there's a bunch of them in the app. So that's kind of the idea, is that there's different sorts of things in, in this book, and we let you interact with each one of them in a way that makes the most sense for that kind of material. I'm going to go through here, I want to get to a particular page. Um, partly to show you a certain thing on that page, and partly just because I want to kind of blow your mind about how much is in this book. Um, it just keeps going. There's stuff from Frozen that you haven't seen anywhere. There's stuff that you don't see anywhere else. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff. Um, and remember, that all moves up. Here's the page, here's the page I wanted to get to. This is uh, the beautiful background paintings from some of the early movies. Any one of these could be in an art museum. Um, what's, the, what's the best way, to, how should you interact with this thing? Like if you had this painting, this is an Ivan Earl background from uh, Sleeping Beauty. Like if this was in your living room, what, what would you do with it? You might sell it and retire. Um, <laughs> but if you didn't want to do that, you might look at it. You might walk up to it. You might lean in a little bit. You might get out a magnifying glass. Um, and so what you can do here in the app is you can get right up to it. You can see the individual brush strokes. Very, very high resolution scan. Higher quality, higher resolution than has ever been available anywhere. Uh, and we have that for a bunch of these classic and beautiful backgrounds, as well as other kinds of visual development art. Uh, so I've shown you everything except how we present actual animation. Let's keep going here and get to the chapter on animation. Um, and I'll show you this clip. So this is a scene from Lion King. When you watch this in the, in the, you know, as watching the movie, you see it as a finished work. You see this piece of video that streams out. But that's not really how animators think about this stuff. They think about it in terms of a series of images that need to work together and that came from someplace, that were created in some way. So if we let you peel back those layers. I can slide my finger down here, and I'm sliding here between the finished cells, the, the story panels, the cleanup animation. I can go back and forth. I can see what the relationship is between the cleanup frames and the final cells. Uh, this is something you've never been able to, not even anybody at Disney has been able to examine and study their work this way. And it makes you feel, you know, it makes you feel closer to the people who made this in a way that's difficult to describe. You really kind of have to try it for yourself. So that's the story portion of the app. Let me switch gears a little bit here and tell you about the interactive experiences. Um, one of my favorites is from Frozen. If I touch it hard enough. Um, so this is as simple as it gets. It's basically a blank screen. And there's one thing you can do, you can swipe it with your finger. 
And when you do that, you get a flurry of snow. So this is a visual effects, a particle system simulation. It's based. Effect in the upcoming movie Frozen. Um, there's only a hundred thousand particles of, of snow here instead of a couple million in the movie, but it's happening in real time, and you're able to art direct this effect with your finger in exactly the same way that the artists working on the movie art direct the special effect that's used in the movie. And because this is an, uh, an app that's about learning, we explain uh, how this is done, what the algorithms, the techniques are behind it, uh, and you can read about that and. Um, and learn how it works. So this is sort of putting you behind the scenes, letting you get your hands on a tool that's used in the production of the movie. And probably the ultimate example of that that we have in here is this animation workshop. So this is uh, uh, the genuine article. This is the actual Penelope, by which I mean it is a CG model derived directly from the model used in the movie. It's rigged and it's controllable. I can zoom in, I can touch one of the control points, if I could see it. Um, I can move the joints around. This is designed to work not like a video game, but like the animation software that's used in producing these movies. So it's very flexible, it's completely open-ended, uh, you can do anything you want. And it's keyframe animation, so along the bottom you'll see a set of, of uh, key poses um, that have been laid out in this example. If I slide my finger sideways here, you'll see it, um, it plays out that piece of animation. I can go back and forth between each of the key frames. And if I click play, uh, it will now play out this animation. Because this is a real model, not a, not a canned video, I can do that from any angle. I can watch what's happening from behind. Uh, and perhaps most remarkably, I can actually share this video. You can export it as a, as a movie file, post it to Facebook, Twitter, email, YouTube. Um, we are amazed, within less than 24 hours of releasing this app, there was a video that showed up on YouTube that was better than anything I'd seen done with this tool. And it's, I don't know who did it, if it was one of you guys, let me know, because it was amazing. Um, so, um, uh, that's the first, you know, you've never been able to take a Disney character like this, tell stories with it, and share it with your friends. Uh, you can even send a file that, that your friends, if they have this app, can open in the app and work on your animation and, and modify it and add to it. Uh, so as you can see, this is, a, this is a big and comprehensive app. There's a lot of material in here. And I want to just go, we'll sort of trip down the rabbit hole of what do I mean by comprehensive. Uh, one of the sections here is called the timeline. This is, uh, this is the complete filmography of the Walt Disney Animation Studios division from uh, Snow White through Frozen. And let's start zooming in, see how, how far we can go. So we can start zooming. You'll see first things, a few more movies show up that didn't fit earlier. Um, now we're down to seeing all the separate movies. Let's pick one, touch this. We get a little film card of this movie, and we have a card for each movie. Uh, it's got the poster, the original movie poster, and the box synopsis. Uh, and it's got these guys walking along. Um, go down a little bit. So here are the, the uh, pictures of the major characters in this movie. But that would really not be good enough. These are not pictures. Each one of these is uh, an animated clip. When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on the world. So every major character in every movie ever made by Walt Disney Animation Studios we have a walking, talking, singing, dancing clip where the character you know, kind of shows off who they are and, and what they're all about. That's pretty comprehensive. Let's keep going. The lower we have iTunes links for all the feature songs. So if you have your favorite songs, they're all collected here in a convenient way. You can get them into your iTunes library. That's pretty cool. And trailers for, all, for most of the movies. Um, and then we have this little strip here at the bottom. These little sort of bar of colors along the very bottom, which you might almost miss. Uh, this is what we call the color map, and it shows the sequence of predominant colors as they occur throughout the movie from start to finish. Uh, and it kind of lets you see what's going on, sort of what mood is going on in a given part of the movie, 
by the colors. If they're bright, happy colors, probably a bright, happy scene. If it's dark and you know, maybe that's a maybe that's not a maybe a, a scary scene or something. Like for example, if, at the end of Lion King, you know, there's a big fire, uh, and, and then in a battle, and then it's dark and it's night, and then suddenly it's it's happy again. You can see that if you look towards the end, right before the black of the credits, you see red and then dark and then bright. And if there if this isn't clear enough, you can touch the color map, and you can see a thumbnail, which I can swipe through here. So here I'm seeing the fire, and then the dark, and then happy, 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 everybody's good, and we're in the credits. <laughs> so, I'm sweeping through the entire movie here. This is the whole thing. Now it's thumbnails, and you know, there's no sound, but it's basically the whole movie. We have this color bar for every movie, every animated feature film made by Walt Disney Animation Studios. We can put them together in one page. So, it's my favorite feature too. Um, so, this is it. Like, this is everything. This is. 30 million man hours of work, something like that. Um, from Snow White at the top to Wreck It Ralph at the bottom, of course, we can't put Frozen in yet because they haven't finished the movie. Can't make the color bar until they finish the movie. Uh, and I can touch this anywhere. I can go forwards and backwards through history. I can go left and right through the movies. So I can see, I just, I love this, I can see everything. <laughs> When I say comprehensive, that's what I mean by comprehensive. Um, that's one feature, one of the interactives, out of a half a dozen, that is itself half of this app. Um, this is a comprehensive app. That's what it's about. Thank you very much. This was a production of Secret City Geek Lab on KTSCFM.com. We broadcast every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Visit the Geek Lab at secretcitycomedy.com slash geeklab or like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash secretcity.